What's up? I'm Ryan Cruzy. This is Cruzy Originals, and today we're going to find out just what's underneath this thing right here. It's not a gas tank. I don't know what's under there. Do you? If you guys are just tuning in for the first time, this is Cruzy Originals. We build custom motorcycles, stunt ride, do a little racing, do a little bit of everything. And uh, we are working on a 2024 Nightster, Harley Davidson Nightster. It is basically an early model dyno with a Pan America motor in it. It is a phenomenal motorcycle that we are trying to get into the aftermarket or get some aftermarket parts produced for it because there is relatively nothing. This is a bike that Harley hasn't really kind of put out there and I didn't even know it existed and it's been out for three years. We stumbled across it. There's lots of other videos about the Nightster. But today, we're gonna look underneath here. I wanna know what's under here. I don't know anything about this bike. I work on normal Harley Davidsons. This is not a normal Harley Davidson. So we're gonna pull off the gas tank, we're gonna investigate, and we're gonna install this Screaming Eagle intake. Because as far as the aftermarket goes for these bikes, Harley Davidson P&A catalog is pretty much it. So far from there, we've gotten this very nice seat from Harley Davidson. It's really nice. They've also got an engine guard, this dude, and a couple other things that we'll be putting on this motorcycle eventually. But right now, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna get into the air box, we're gonna find the air box, we're gonna dissect the air box, we're gonna see what that's all about, and then we're gonna put that thing on and see what happens. We won't be able to start it today because all this stuff's a powder coat, but you get the idea. The first thing is one little bolt. It's a Torx, I'm gonna pop that dude out. And we got some more torques and some other stuff. This is definitely an adventure for all of us because I've never done this and I don't have a service manual, but we're working on that right now. Hopefully we'll have one soon. I think I just found the ECM. The ECM is right there. Would you look at this? I think I'm gonna have to take the seat off. Hold, hold, Never mind. Anticlimactic. That easily, the tank is now ready for paint. I'm not gonna paint it because this is pretty dope, but. Look at that thing. That is a gigantic air box. Looks like this is the ECM. So here's all of your electronics. Let me get this dude apart. All right, we're gonna take all these dudes out and see what happens. There's a lot of them. I don't know if I can get to all of them. Tight one. Mm. Nope. Nope. Well. Pop this dude out of here, whatever it may be. Oh, don't go too far, bud. Wow. Hey guys, what's up? Tommy, Cruzy Originals. Just want to let you guys know we do have all of our Skynet sprockets back in stock. 55 tooth, 53 tooth, 51 tooth, and 49 tooth. This completes our chain drive kits, which are back in stock on the website now. We even have them available in high polished and black anodized finishes. All of these are available on cruzyoriginals.com. That's definitely not what I expected. It's basically got an intake on it already. So these are the velocity stacks that we need to change out. So, hey Trent! Trent! Where are you? Right here. Can you see, can you look up the velocity stacks for a Pan America for me? I'd like to see what they look like in comparison like to this. The yeah, look at this. Look at this weird setup over here. It's a lot of tubes and shit. I know. Are these the velocity stacks we're talking about that you need to change out and you can make a bunch more power? Because that's the butterfly right down there. Mm -hmm. This also has a butterfly in there. Yeah, dual throttle bodies. Yeah. And then the filter, and then that tube goes to the side. Yeah. So you're just so, putting a filter on a filter, or you just take uh, this filter out? I think out. we get rid of this filter and it just sucks out down there. Sucks out. Okay. But I mean, it's really still a good system already. Yeah. Like Except the, for this is kind of choking up it like being forced in the air in there by any means, but. That's choking it up a bunch, dude, because it goes right to the back of that cover. Does that hose, do we just stick that hose that's in there inside this dude that's then? That's what it looks like, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And she have this big old. And then it's a Ram intake. Ram air. It's not made by Dodge. But it rams the air in, you know? Raminar. I'm Keith Raminar, and this is my partner, John Dixon. We're working hard at Raminar Dixon. Get it? Yeah, I got it. Oh. 
Hey Trent. Yes. We take this intake off over here. I'm going to pull this part apart. Oh, you're looking up that thing for me right now. That's what I'm doing. Beautiful. And this thing's just sandwiched in there on a notch. Uh, well, I'm gonna pull that filter off and see what she looks like. <laughs> There's the ABS module. Everything's up front up here. It's so different than any other Harley Davidson. Looks Holy like shit, shorter. dude. That's a motor mount. Looks like they're shorter. Shorter and a hell of a lot bigger. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Didn't got, have to do that. Got, it's got you the... there. What is that guy hooked to, though? It's the whole box? Hmm. Those velocity stacks are supposed to add a lot of power. I would like to find out. So normally where you find a throttle body, it's just a plastic hose going into another hose that goes into a filter that has these two things that suck air. The velocity stacks on the Pan America are much bigger, more aggressive, and shorter. So they're supposed to make more power than these. So I'm just curious. We're going to try and get a set, and I want to try that out. I don't even know if they'll bolt up in there, but I still want to try it out. Maybe look up the Sportster S ones too and see if they're different. But I have been told, I don't know for facts, but the velocity stacks have a lot to do with how these things make power. Those long runners though, that might be better for this. So this dude all flares out like this. This guy is seated right there. It just literally just seats right up in there and then you bolt it to the bike, put a filter on it and you're done. Gravy train. Does this come with different hardware? Cause this shit ain't long enough. I guess I should have looked. Comes with directions. Let's see if it's got a torque spec in here for me at least. Holy shit. Yo, Trent. Guess what the torque is on these intake bolts? Anybody got a guess? 35. 69 inch pounds. Mm, nope. 35 is your guess, June? Yes. Trent, you got a guess? Just about right. 88 foot pounds. 88? That's a lot. Well, They're also the motor mounts though. Mount. It's a twofer. But 88 foot pounds on these fucking guys. They're not even a half inch bolt. Yeah, stock. This one's pretty nice. I mean, is this thing really better? Sucking out in the old dirty Arizona air? Probably is better airflow. Getting some from outside. Ooh, got a dent in the filter. That's not good. Did I do that? So these are just long. These probably would make, I don't really know exactly how this works, but I would think the longer runners would make this a little torquier. So I'd like to try them all. We're going to get Sportster S velocity stacks, which are different. I don't know what's different about them, but there's different part numbers. And we're going to get Pan America velocity stacks, which are different. And then we're going to try and talk old Trask Performance into dyno tuning this with all the different ones and see what kind of power difference it makes. Because word is, they can tune Nightsters. Watch out, world. Man, could you imagine a nice, smooth 120 horsepower stunt bike that was linear and smooth and still amazing. stuntable but had that much power? That could be this, this weird looking thing right here. This looks like something that could vacuum some length out of something. Vroom, vroom, vroom. You get two birds stoned at once with this thing. You get two products out of one. You get a really nice bike to ride, a lengthener. I really can't go wrong with the new Nightster, I think. So on that note, I mean, that's a quick install video. This is the Cruzy Originals. That's how you install an intake on a 2024 Nightster or any Revolution series, not Revolutionary series, Revolution Series, Pan America style, Dyna. That's right, it's a Dyna. <laughs> Change my mind, go ahead, down below. Ryan Cruzy, Cruzy Originals. Like, subscribe, ring that bell for every $5 you spend on CruzyOriginals.com enters you in a chance to win a custom motorcycle built by us. Thanks, peace. <laughs>